Hello friends, welcome to your only channel Times of Coding. Today in our series Scala Express, we will learn about first order function. This session will help you to understand first order function from Scala list collection and how to use them while programming. In previous session, we have learned about sealed classes, option type and pattern matching ability of option type. In this session, we will learn about first order function. To understand first order function, I am creating one example here. I am declaring four types of collection here. First is list of string value, then list of int value, then list of list type which will keep our value as matrix and then I'm defining empty list. Now I will simply add type of these variables here as a two. So list dot empty will be a type of list of nothing and rest all we have seen in my previous sessions also. So I think you will be comfortable now. Nothing is the bottommost class. So the same thing you can even define list of string as well. Compiler will not have any issue. This empty list we can also represent as nil. In a Scala, nil has a major role when it comes to collection type, especially on list type. So whatever list type we have defined earlier, compiler will change these values into this writing style. Double colon we call as cons. And here at the end, we need to define nil. Compiler change our above definition into this type of writing style. Now let's understand what is this type of style. Okay, so here we're defining fruit, which is a list of a string value. So this is the first element we are storing as apple. Then cons, cons is double colon symbol. And then we are having braces open and then we have oranges cons braces open mango cons nil so nil will represent the end of the collection and whatever we are having as elements in this fruit type of list we will represent this colon for concatenation so if you see we are concatenating apple with orange orange with mango and mango with nil Let's understand the same way for numbers. For numbers also we are having one cons two, cons three, cons four, cons five and then nil. So after five element we are ending our list collection type. That's why we are mentioning nil. And this will play a concatenation simply. Now at the time of matrix we will be maintaining three different list here and if you see we have got three open braces here and then three closing braces and then we have got cons this whole composition of braces will be a one element then we are having cons likewise second element third element and then we are having nil so this is basically list of list of numbers or i would say in a scala terms int and then we are having empty list. So for empty list, we can use nil in Scala. Now let's write the same thing in little concise way. So these braces which we have seen earlier, they're just optional to us. In fact, we can write the same thing without braces as well. For list of numbers, one counts two, three, four, five, and then nil. And likewise, we can do by dropping braces. But yes, when we are writing a value as matrix, we need to use braces in order to specify one row. So here, this is row one, row two, and row three. Now let's do some basic operation on this defined list. So first, I'm trying to retrieve the last element of fruits. And then I'm trying to retrieve the tail of fruits then head and then we are reversing the fruit collection we will see the outcome when we will do the practical 
but these are the methods available on list side which known as first order functions now since we have got just three element in our list we can retrieve value by defining list of a o and m a for apple o for orange m for mango and if you assign this fruit into a list of these three element inside you will get one to one mapping from value to variable okay what if if you are having more than three values inside this fruit then in that case your first value will map to this variable your second value from fruits will map to this variable and then your rest of the value from fruit collection will map to m variable let me repeat first will map to a second will map to o and rest all of the values will map to m this is what will happen if you do likewise when you are having more than three elements inside the fruit collection. Now moving on to numbers type. So for numbers also, we will do similar operation but here instead of comma, I will use cons. Now this cons play a very important role. So here I am defining val i cons double i cons triple i. I'm trying to giving the outlook of this example as Roman numbers 3i and then rest of the numbers. So number is having five digits in total. If you see one to five, so that means after three, one will get here, two will get here, three will get here, and four and five will sit in rest variable. So here, if you understood, this cons is behaving as a delimiter. And in this example, comma was our delimiter. Okay. Let me tell you the another important function of list is concatenate. So this is also one of the first order function which we use in order to concatenate to list here. So list 1, 2, 3, concatenate list 4, 5, 6. When we execute this statement, we will get one list of 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5, 6. Total 6 element in it. And likewise, there are many more first order function which we will see in this exercise with output. So here I am defining length. This length function though we have used in many of our previous example also. So I hope you will feel familiar with this function. Okay, for alphabets I am defining one list. And then I'm picking up last. So last will give us E because here we have defined A, B, C, D, and E. So last will pick up the last element. In it will pick up except last element. So if you see, we are having A, B, C, D here, not E. Then we are having reverse. So places of this character will change. And reverse direction. If you see here, we are expecting the same. And then we are having just alphabet. So if in case you want it to present alphabets, you will keep simply as it is. So here we are getting list of A, B, C, D, E type. Okay. Now what if if you reverse an alphabet twice, that means you will get the original order. And that we will keep it with equals. And since in Scala, our equals check for equality, we will have true here. Then we will have take two. This function will get us first two elements out of this collection then we will have drop to this function will drop first two element from collection so we are having expected output here now we are having a split at two so this function will split one collection into two after second element and this is the expected output here now we are having alphabets apply to that means we will get element of second index our index always start with 0, so 0, 1 and 2 we will get C as here. The same thing we can achieve by writing in this way alphabets braces 2. Then we will ask for indices. Indices always start with 0, so it will give us range 0 until 5. 5 is exclusive here. The another first order function is flatten. Now this is interesting function to flat multiple list into one list. So inside this list, I'm defining three list here. And when I apply flatten, 
it will get us just one list with all the elements flatten in it. The another important first order function is zip. What if we wanted to create a vector and in this vector we would like to keep indices as one element comma value as one element. So here we are creating alphabet dot indices zip alphabet. So this function will get us indexed sequence of int and cat type and likewise we will get expected out. The same thing you can achieve by writing alphabets dot zip with index. Here also you will get similar data set but the position will be opposite. So first you will get value and then you will have index. Where in above example you were having first index and then value. You see? Okay. What if you wanted to unzip? So from unzip function we will have two collection. First collection will have all the indexes and second collection will have all the values. If you noticed here. Then we are having alphabet to a twist string to write all the elements from our string. Then we have make string which will just behave as usual to iterate all the elements of alphabets list. We will have iterator here and to iterate one after another element we have got two functions next and has next. Now if you come from the Java background, this is usual way to use iterator in imperative style of coding. So when we do next, we will get first element, then we have to check has next and if it gave us true, then we can access next element also. Like the way we are doing here. So first we are getting next which is A, then we are checking it has next that means true, then we are retrieving next element also. Likewise, we can go on and we can retrieve all the element till the time has next show false. So this was about first order function of Scala in theory. Let's do some practical now. Okay, so I've created one Scala worksheet called example.sc and here we will validate all the example which we have seen so far. So first I'm creating fruits, list of a string the numbers matrix and here I'm defining empty list as we discussed. If you keep nothing it's fine because this is the bottom most type in Scala and if you keep a string also that's fine. And the same we are defining here with comma delimiter and here with cons delimiter. So as we discussed earlier first we are using braces and then we can drop braces also it is completely optional and it's depend on us if we want it to Keep it or not. So here I'm defining same variable since it is a Scala worksheet it will not give us any trouble and in case of matrix we need to keep these braces to define it as a row 1, 2 and 3. Okay. Then I will retrieve fruit.last, tail and head and reverse. Okay. So let's run now and then we will go ahead. Okay. So if you observe we have got three variables here as we expected. Then we have got two empty list here as we expected. Type of nothing and a string. Then we have got with braces and cons. And then we have defined this empty dot null which we are getting here empty list. Then again we have defined similar values with similar variables but without braces. And we have got as expected. Here also we have got empty list which has nil type. If you see here, which has immutable nil type. Okay. And then we are retrieving the last. So our fruit collection will have last element as mango. We are getting here tail. That means orange and mango. We will get as tail except the first element everything else is tail then we are having head so head is always the first element as apple then we have got reverse so now we have defined apple orange mango and in reverse we will get mango orange apples as expected then we are concatenating two list here the first list is having just one element called take one 
and then fruit dot tilde so except first element it is having all the elements now when we concatenate with the help of three columns we will get apple oranges mango again okay then we are assigning this fruit three elements into a o and m i will just maximize this we are getting apples in a orange in o m for mango as expected then we are trying to do similar thing but for numbers and we are keeping variable name as roman numbers okay since we are having rest here so rest will have 4 and 5 suppose it has got more element also all rest of the element will goes to rest variable here okay and then we are concatenating again these two lists so our final outcome will be list of all elements as one so these are all few of the first order functions now let's see few more functions as first order which we can try on list so to understand that i'm defining list first here as alphabets and then we will go through all the functions one after another which we have seen earlier also so let me run first so as you see our element was 4 here that's why we are getting 4 as length alphabets has got defined as a b c d e the last character is always e in it will give us all the elements except last reverse will reverse the order of these elements and alphabet will simply represent the list okay if we try reverse twice we will get exact same alphabet so that's why after having equals check it is getting us true take two will get us first two element drop true will drop first two element split at two will split two list first list first list will have zero and one index second list will have all the elements from second index from index two we are having apply to and in braces to both represent the same thing so both are having same outcome now we are asking indices so here we are getting range 5 is exclusive here then we are flattening list of list type so we are getting one flattened list here with all the elements from this sub list 1 to 7 basically now we came to this interesting function called zip okay right now we are having alphabets which holds five alphabets we will find out the indices and we will zip it with values of alphabets so our outcome will be indice and value here and five pairs we will get inside the vector then we are having zipped with index also similar thing we can achieve by using this function but the order will differ here as we expected you see then we are having unzip unzip will basically get us to collection as vector first with vector of indices next is vector of values then we have got to a string to represent the same string collection we can make this list of a string as a string value only by using this expression where we are aligning all the elements with brackets and comma as delimiter here if we don't want it to keep any delimiter or braces as we are doing in this statement here and this will be our expected outcome next example we are having for iterator so here we are having next has next next and our value will be a true and b let's say if we repeat this one more time we will get true c as well let's say if we repeat this you see after e we are having no such element exception and here if you see on has next we have got false so technically if you are using any iterator you should have if else condition and in that if condition you should have end of this execution with false with this example i have covered today content i hope you enjoy the video thanks for watching